Good morning, Skills USA. My name is Malia Mitchell. And I'm Jacob Orozco. Today's Saturday, February 3rd. And this is Broadcast News. Social media is a huge influence in our generation. Many students these days find themselves snapping, posting, and sharing their lives on social media. Let's go to Mateo to find out everyone's favorite social media site. Now to you, Mateo. I'm Mateo, and I'm here at the Grant High Cafeteria to see a student's favorite type of social media. Let's go. I'm here with... Irma Campos. So, what's your favorite type of social media? My favorite type of social media would probably be Instagram because I've had it the longest since like 2013. It's just like a lot easier to navigate than most. Probably Instagram. Why? I mean, because I don't use Facebook and... Snapchat. Why? Um, because I can use so many filters. But I think Instagram would be the best one in my opinion. Um, my favorite social media is probably Instagram. My favorite type of social media is probably YouTube because you can just explore anything you want. So that was Grant High in social media. See you guys later. Thank you, Mateo, for the scoop. But what about the negative connotations attached to social media and the problem with everyone having access to it? Now to you, Delaney. Hey, I'm Delaney, and let's go interview Mr. Cook. So, Cook, what effect do you think social media has on society? Um, I think that social media has really changed the way that people uh, give things truth. Uh, what news they, they pay attention to, um, it, especially with teenagers. It's really changed uh, the kind of news that they get when they were watching TV news before and, and having and reading the newspaper. Somebody had to be accountable for that. Uh, the TV news, if, if somebody said a curse word or they, they gave sources that were not true, somebody's going to call them out. The only time that somebody on YouTube gets in trouble is after the fact. Nobody's checking YouTube before they, they post those videos. Anyone can post those videos, and it's the same thing with students on social media. Uh, they hear something that's been, it's just passed along their social media. No one checks the, the truth of it and it just gets passed along and they believe it. And, and so we have a lot of power in social media to spread word to kids about, you know, things about school, go out and uh, go to the blood drive, learn how to vote, those types of things. But moreover, they use it for and they are confused by messages that have no validity at all. So I just got done interviewing Cook. Uh, back to you, Malia. Thank you, Delaney and Cook, for that informative report. Well, that wraps it up for us today. Thank you for everyone who's watching, and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye, Skills USA. Thank you, UTI.